Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. This is a what to know video about USB connections and ports and speeds and stuff. So everything you need to know about USB. Uh, it's gonna keep it very simple, so if you're expecting detailed analysis of speeds and stuff, it's not the right video for you. I uh, might make one in the future though. Um, so let's start out with the very basics, what USB stands for. And this actually stands for Universal Serial Bus. First, USB 1.0 came out in 96, and it kind of introduced a very common way for everyone to use uh, plugs for their devices to go on computers. So that way you wouldn't have to worry about all these specialty plugs and connectors and different cards you'd have to get. Everyone would just use USB and it would make it a lot simple, which it did. And the only limitations with that though was USB 1.0 was horrible. <laughs> it had a horrible power delivery system uh, and couldn't even use extension cables with it. But before we get more in depth into these numbers, which are specifically called the standards for USB, uh, I need you guys to understand the difference between the standard of a USB and the port of a USB. So um, the standards are like USB 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 3.1, 3 all those. And that basically defined the different iterations of speeds and capabilities of these cables. Um, the port types though are either type A, B, or C, and that's literally just the shape of the port. So we're going to start with that because it's going to be easier. Type A is going to be your largest and most common port you'll see. It's just the regular rectangle, and that's usually on the end that goes into the computer. Um, and it's basically what you think of when you think of USB. Uh, type B on the other hand, there's actually kind of two variants to this. The first one is kind of a square shape and it's mainly using like printers. You'll see, you'll probably recognize it, but you won't see it too often anywhere. And the other one is the mini slash micro, which also is considered type B, just mini slash micro. And most of the time you'll see these for phones or um, I see them on cameras every now and then, like lower quality, older cameras have them for data transfers and stuff like that. And this is basically, usually one end will be the type A that goes in the computer and the other end will be like your micro that goes into your phone or whatever. Um, and these are used a lot in portable devices. So when like phones started getting real popular and cameras and stuff like that, obviously those were all used in those portable devices just because it was a smaller cable. And lastly, there's type C, which is gonna be your newest type cable. Uh, the biggest difference here, it had reversible sides. So there's no orientation needed for type C connectors. Um, and the support for them, you can actually have a much higher output of charge. So um, stuff like charging laptops wasn't capable using like USB 2.0 on the regular type A port, but with type C and USB like 3.1, you can actually charge like your entire laptop with a type C connector. Okay, so that's basically it for the port types. Now let's go into the standards. So I mentioned uh, earlier 1.0, so we kind of know that it's kind of the, the beginning of USB. And then in 2000, they came out with USB 2.0, which is kind of fitting, 2000, 2.0. Um, this one increased the speeds a lot, almost five times, or five times the speed. Yeah, it went up to 60 megabytes a second, which uh, I'm gonna have a list here of all of them right here so you can see all the speeds and the changes if you want. I'm not gonna go too in depth into that. Um, but next was USB 3.0, came out in 2008, and this was the probably the bigger change. Uh, speeds went up tenfold. And the biggest difference you could tell is that USB 3.0 is now blue. So that's like an easy way to tell the difference between, oh, just 2.0 or 3.0. All 3.0s are generally blue. Um, occasionally you'll see them red for like quick charging and stuff like that. But um, in general, uh, USB 3 is blue as well as like 3.1. Okay, and then the lastly, um, kind of the newest version is most you'll, most you'll see is USB Type-C with USB 3.1. And basically 3.1 is very similar to 3.0. Um, it just increased the speeds even more. <laughs> uh, it was a much smaller variant. That's why they didn't go with USB 4.0 just because it wasn't that, that big of a jump. They just kind of tweaked some stuff and went to 3.1. And that's where we are now, guys. Um, so yeah, USB-C is still getting into the market today. Uh, you won't see as many devices. A lot of laptops use it for like charging. They have a couple cables. You can um, hook up external displays. You can do data transfers, external hard drives. They're very versatile, which is very nice. Now we're getting to the era of no longer having to worry about, oh, get a separate cable for power. and Oh, now you need a display cable because all USB-C handles it all. It does, it does displays, it does powering, it does data transfer, it does it all. And that's basically it guys. Uh, if you have any more questions, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer them. I probably won't make a big follow-up video to this unless you guys want to see the like in-depths of like all the different detailed variants of the USBs, but uh, that's not really a video worth it in my opinion. I think that's something you can just Google yourself. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to if you want to research it around just for your curiosity. But I hope you have a good one guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.